Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone is going to be kited. Like, all the melee heroes that will be good at receiving and power are going to be facing issues because they're going to be, like, stun-locked by Spirit Breaker, or at least stunned somewhat by Spirit Breaker, and that is very easily chainable now that they have a Marana, just charge into Arrow, no big deal. Stampede is always an issue up against those melee heroes, really, regardless of who you are. It, Juggernaut is... I mean, it's perfectly fine here, but I think Secret are just so prepared for this. Ivor just a little bit short to reach out for that pick. Uh, a double damage Weaver coming in for Marana. He's Marana out of mana out of as mana well. As well. But very nice. Well, still the bottom lane is conceded. They could still farm it with Keizu. Oh, they charge the Rubik. Arrow. Arrow. Follow up. Oh. They'll lose the lose rune to the... general. <laughs> Here by general, and I think it's going to be a big rune to get. Let's go for ganks. Uh, oh, looking gonna at give it up to Dendi. Can't, can they get him? They have spin. Plus as well, they stun him once. The eclipse is there, but is it going to be enough? The beans, the beans, going to be enough. Heal up. Ogre will be the sacrificial land. A lot of times you could have made the jump with the jump, but, but uh, with the blink. But oh, pie cat. Gonna CP away. Is there a bash there? 15%? Nope. Happened. They will cleave up the Rubik though. One lying down and they're gonna run into each other. Navi. Icat is there. Beating the charge. Could get jumped there. Oh no, he gets oh, arrowed no. as well. Well. Bad. They immediately chain stunts on him. Blue Storm was stolen by Rubik, but I don't think they will be able to get out of this one alive. Yeah. Uh, Rubik. Yep, get beam then. Quite a bit of heroes. So I get running up the high ground like that. Very, very... Build up for Navi is that you just dump everything into this Juggernaut, make him an absolute monster, and then just let him loose. But if he's not out farming the enemies in a significant manner, then yeah, you're you're wasting... Or you're using a lot of the heroes suboptimally. This is Navi's chance. Let's go. Then he blind RP. Grabs the Luna. There you go. That's how you win the fight. Oh, he's still no, alive. No, they don't. They actually managed to run away. Uh, does the spin do enough damage? He does the Omni Slash at the last tick of health there for the Luna. And now, now good on one running all around the place. The Sentry War revealing that Centaur as well. Two big crits there from Juggernaut actually take out. And now they chase after him with that Spirit Breaker. The spin will resist all that magical damage. General on the chase there. Navi taking a big fight. Dendi with the Faith. They puppy. Dendi says, sorry, old friend, but I can't with kill me. Just working off, uh, you know, everyone just randomly. Probably coming into the team's play style as well. Yeah. Weaver? Nether Strike? Oh! The arrow set up with the Nether Strike. That is. Navi here is charged. We have a lot of even trades across the board. Like, every single kill or pickoff or whatever has been traded equally. Mid one, though. Right. Right. Oh no, they might find an easy Rubik kill. Arrow and a double star storm. Yep, that's an easy kill to get. Hasn't Only see, shown. see Luna. Luna's gonna show. Luna shows. I think Dendi wants this. He sees it. Link Dendi go. Yep, Dendi gets it. There's gonna be an Omni Slash right away. Doesn't go for the skewer. Very good discipline. Picks off the Luna. 63 seconds on the sidelines and maybe Rex is even. Not careful. Also, major destruction. Crash the hoof stomp. Jump there on the Weaver, they really want to blow him up, block there. E-Blade will take, take him out though. Shrine comes out, makes it really hard to kill Keizu, they will get the Weaver, so... Okay, smoke, the charge and this one's smoke. I think this one's real. This one's real. Oh, tries to go for the time lapse. Does he get out there? Nice four staff. Dodges it right away. Right away. Getting one. Does he... No, nope, no, does no, not. No, but no, nice no, RP, RP though. though. Locks them down. Locks them down. There's down. a stun arrow as well from the Rubik stolen. Clips is going to be deployed, but a lot of BKBs are just going to exalt that right up. MP in a lot of trouble. Down. Oh, well, oh, the invis actually keep him alive. What is this? No detection. Oh, they are going to be kicking themselves for that one. Rubik coming in there. E Blade gets hit by an arrow. Hit. That's surprising for Jakiro's. Usually they're very sacrificial. That's surprising for Pilot Die. That too. Right, here comes the hot dog. Gonna get scouted out. Pycat oh, is Pie in danger Cat. if he's not careful. Oh, that's a hoof storm. Very good one as well. Manta dodge. Nope, they changed that in perfect. That is gonna be Pycat in the ground. 80 seconds. Mm -hmm. Pretty insane. A leap for Moonshot on the entire team. Better than Bloodlust. 
He also built up with a really kind of right clicky talent build. Agility, yeah. attack speed instead of spell implication, oh. and then more damage. Oh. So General. he is doing quite a bit with his talents. Arrows, be careful. They stomp the Weaver. And in the arrows, perfectly chained as well. But RP is there. Yeah. RP number RP one. Number There's one. a refresher on Dendi. He's there. there. RP yeah. number two. There, there is. There is. Three man. Three RP man. with his high cap on his land. 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 The triple kill. The turnaround. The Weaver was just a bait. General gives them the sightward smile. And oh no, puppy. Gonna try and charge away. He will be successful. Do they catch the. Seems like uh, are a little bit shell shocked after that last fight. Can't really uh, fight until you know that you're going to have some sort of counterplay versus the Magnus, whether that's picking him off first or something. Seems like the option they're going to select is double stampede to counter the double RP. Thought I've seen it all, but oh, I get running up the high ground again. But this time he sees what's up, and they use the stampede, stampede prematurely. And Rubik says, "I got one to Lotus, oh, Lotus. and we get some Final Fantasy level fighting here." He's still going on, and Keizu <laughs> gets into nice position for an Omni slash into a stamp <laughs> as well. But he gets moved in the game as Pike slices him in half. What's he building towards? Uh, nothing really crazy so far. Oh wow! wow. Walks into Puppy. Oh, puppy be a stun that blocks that Block charge of darkness now rmn is going to trouble himself gets three shot there by and i'm not sure this rubik wants to stick around the nice oh, the arrow there no that was actually luna i'm um, that, that also may be slightly different if there's more heroes there then they both like jump to their respective different targets i don't actually know if you could omni i mean i guess you can Arrow. Oh, well. skewer them with the blind skewer back, and they get the Rana Dendi. Plus 461 with the DD. Gonna shred this base, holy crap. <laughs> They're actually defending up to top or bottom, they got Pilot Die. Dendi Classic. found them. But uh, Pikett's sticking around, and uh, I don't know about this. He's sticking around. Doesn't have the ages. Time lapse him out, and now the Abyssal Blade stuns himself. But he oh, pulled geez. three shots of Sethar. Oh no. See what you've done. That's exactly right. He's got the spin to clear the racks as well. No, he goes in for the Omni Slash on the Luna, but the creep wave spawns. Breaches final form, so he's here to slay. Dendi has 7,500 gold, by the way. The oh. RP is still coming. Going in on Puppy. Going to Icat getting slammed there by the Luna. Take quite a bit of damage, but there's the silence. Time lapse Pycat out of there. Dendi has the BKB. He goes for the Orchid. They're going in. They've deployed their stampede already, so they don't have the protection. The RP catches the Centaur. There's only one RP though. They do get the Centaur, so he's down. He's out. Pycat dropping very low as well. He gets slammed there by the Bird Breaker. So there's three heroes down. Double kill for mid one. He's just sniping from the side, then leap. Bonus attack speed. Really doing a lot there against Navi, and Navi lose all their heroes except the Ogre. They all have buyback, but that's not a nice situation to be in. Oh, okay, Lincoln's, yeah, okay. It's not too bad. Oh, oh wow, Luna. the Abyssal Blade spins, hit. There's a Snow Blood Phone. That arrow nearly hitting, and then life by the Fire Blast, and the end of back. These plays have been big. The coordination for Navi is. And now the charge comes in, they're going for Dendi, they really want to lock him down, but the Ewell Scepter shuts down Puppy's movement, and he gets bashed to BKB. Not save him, but now, the time going on to Luna, that's the Aegis life, the Titanic is there. There's no way to escape, will be well, by like that, I think they know where he's going, he's like, please, please, I just want to survive, and the live. Ow, he went down fast. That's why Na'Vi kind of fought to fights in their base. Oh, MP getting it caught out here again. There's the blood bone as well. It's gonna amplify a lot of damage. And he backs us into the arrow. He's down 413 seconds. The buyback's most certainly gonna be fourth. And Pycat is gonna take that time to chip away at some Raxes. Looks at that melee wreck. Deploys the healing ward. There's still double RP. Dendi has managed to achieve all that damage without any RP. So the Eul Scepter to start out on the Centaur sets up an arrow that's pretty cute. Pycat running in, looking for that guy, and it will blood throw him up. They will stop him away. Mid one shoots the healing ward. There's gonna be an RP number one. They go Scepter him up. So there's some Spirit Breaker charging in, looking for the Rubik, but he gets done. There's a secondary 
And Pete and jumped Pete only jumped on the ogre though. though. There's a PKB, then he has a second RP. He lands the RP, he lands the RP, he lands the RP, but he gets killed. The Juggernaut doesn't get to do the damage he can do, but he will be chipping away at Luna. Luna doesn't have buyback, she does not want to go down here. Dandy will actually successfully get the hit there. The crit, rip the Luna down. That's four heroes down on Secret. Secret are going down in game number one. Pycat with two chefs. With that empower just cleaves up Secret. And well, mid one did his best. It's a rampage for Pycat as well. Hitting him that one. That was that was good manners right there from mid one. Very nice of him. Navi end the game with a bang. The luxury of being able to fight without glaives bouncing through, without getting your blink cancelled by the static charge from a Mjolnir. There's always that like 